Why do writers get stuck? Why do writers get stuck? Well, um, you want to have a good outline. Writers get stuck sometimes because they, you know, they, 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 they come up with a great idea and they immediately start writing the idea, which is fine. But at some point you're going to want to stop and um, do some kind of an outline. And here's the thing is that this is where writers will go, yeah, but I heard that um, Woody Allen never outlines and Charlie Kaufman never outlines. And the truth is they do. They probably just don't write their outline down. But they have been writing stories for such a long time and they've been, and they probably actually do have lots of notes, but they've been doing that they have developed such an, an, an uh, you know, uh, story structures become second nature for them. They've become masters. And so they are naturally seeing, they're naturally connected to uh, this, this process. Uh, but I, I would think the main reason writers get stuck is because they're not working off some kind of an outline. It could be even the most, you know, rudimentary outline. But you have to have something to work from. Or here's the, the irony is that if you don't have an outline, you're actually going to lose confidence when you get to a point where you start to feel stuck. Because you're always going to get stuck at some point in the process. But if you've got some kind of um, uh, basic sense of your the, the story structure, basic sense of the movement, um, you can actually get excited about the point where you get stuck because you know where the story is going to go, and that's where you can start to move in all. You can you 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 can kind of relax into the panic and let your characters speak to you and go in directions that you had never imagined that are actually going to often support where the story wants to go. Okay, that's why I would say, if you know you're going to go left, go right. Okay, so, so, so if I know this is going to happen, let me explore the complete opposite and relax in the fact that I'm, I'm going to get to where I'm going. It's just not going, I'm not going to arrive there in the same way I thought I was going to. Thinking of like the firm, yeah, you know, Tom Cruise, and then that moment when well, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I don't think you're giving okay. spoilers away to a thirty-year-old movie. <laughs> if you haven't watched The Firm yet, so I'm just thinking of the living room scene where he comes back and and the the partners are there and and maybe I'm butchering. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 right. So yeah, and right, mm -hmm. and, and totally different. This is where this is where Robert Town. I love this. Robert Town adapted The Firm, okay, and he uh, because I always thought I great novel. Except the ending felt like a total cheat because Mitch McDeer ends up on a sailboat with $10 million. And, and, and he's like in the Cayman Islands or something like that. And he's not a lawyer anymore. But he wanted to be a lawyer. He loved being a lawyer. And so Robert Town, he read it and he was like, well, wait a second. Why can't he still be a lawyer at the end of the story? but have a transformation. And so he, in the living room scene, it's been decades since I've seen this movie, but the living room scene is where he confronts the, is it the, is it the mobsters and the... I believe so. And, and I think firm. isn't his wife there too? In the, is it, I, I, maybe I'm picturing but, two different stories. But what he, does, what he basically does is he says, I'm a lawyer and I work for you, the mob. But I also have all of your shit. And if anything happens to me, you guys are fucked. And so um, that's what, you know, John Grisham didn't do. But that's what makes Robert Town a genius is because he understands story structure. He understands transformation. I mean, John Grisham is brilliant. I love John Grisham. But that the ending of that felt like a cop out to me because um he just he just go, goes off into into like like that ending is actually a tragedy he's now going to spend the rest of his life in hiding in in the novel in the cayman islands in hiding with 10 million dollars that sounds like a nightmare i don't want to i who wants that life but b because he doesn't get to you know he, he's got to be in hiding but the way Robert Town did it was was masterful 
because uh, it, he, he, he was true to the dramatic question that was about a guy who was an idealistic lawyer who takes a job for a dirty firm and ends up in, in, in a horror show and he, find, and he manages a way to climb out and outsmart uh, you know, the villains. Brilliant.